Hey class, um, just about to pop into work real quick, but came out to check on my vegetable garden and found a, a common garden pest on my tomatoes that I wanted to show you. Um, I'm sure y'all have all grown tomatoes and heard about tomato hornworms. Um, if you hadn't, I'm gonna show you some. Actually, I think what I have here aren't tomato hornworms, but they're tobacco hornworms. But just because, uh, don't let the names fool you, the tomato hornworm, tobacco hornworm, they can both feed on uh, either plant. The t tobacco and tomatoes are in the same plant family, Solanaceae, and these guys can move back and forth between them. But if we can get up in here and see, you can see this great big old caterpillar. Uh, so this is a tomato, uh, a tobacco hornworm. You can tell because it's got a red uh, horn at the tip of its uh, body. Um, it doesn't sting or anything like that. Um, but tobacco hornworms have red ones, tomato hornworm, worm, hornworms ugh, have black ones, and also uh, seven lateral stripes on the uh, tobacco and eight on the tomato. But uh, anyway, let me show you this guy. So this is obviously a Lepidoptera uh, caterpillar. It will actually turn into a large hawk moth family Spingidae, which you'll see in lab eventually. Um, and, and it's kind of interesting because as a caterpillar, these guys are, are pests, right? This, these guys, uh, actually there's another one. These guys get huge and they will just wipe out your tomato plants. Um, so we don't like them as, as caterpillars. But as adults, these guys are actually really good pollinators. Um, the adult forms of these. So it's kind of interesting how one life cycle, one stage of the life cycle, we don't like them, but we actually do in the other stage. Um, uh, sort of in terms of pest control, the best method, I mean, you can sprinkle like some kind of BT toxin uh, pesticide on your tomatoes and that would kill them. But the best way to do it is to just pull them off. Um, I have chickens. Chickens love these guys. You can feed them to them. Um, uh, but if you ever get the opportunity, you ought to rear some up because the adults are actually pretty cool. And I'll be sure and show you some in lab. Um, but... Uh, what my kids like to do is to come out at night with a black light and shine on there because these guys will actually fluoresce a little bit. And so they're really easy to pick off that way. And plus it's fun. You're out walking around at night with a black light. Um, early morning is also a good time if you don't come out at night because they'll come out on the exterior distal leaves. Like, see, here's another guy uh, up in there. Um, they'll come out to the edge of the leaves in the morning when it's cooler and the sunlight's not as direct and feed there. But during the day, they'll tend to move a little closer into the stems um, to get out of the sun a bit. Anyway, I'm gonna head on into the office, but I thought I'd show you these guys. So this is a tobacco hornworm feeding on my tomatoes.